my brothers and sisters, good morning. This is the morning prayer for Thursday, April 14th, 2022, Thursday of Holy Week, or Holy Thursday. And let us begin our morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. There was in him no saintly bearing to make us look at him, nor appearance that would attract us to him. Come, let us adore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, the redeeming love of the Savior, born on our behalf, the crushing burden of our sins. And let us pray. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me, Lord, in your rage. Your arrows have sunk deep in me. Your hand has come down on me. Through your anger all my body is sick. Through my sin there is no health in my limbs. My guilt towers higher than my head. It is a weight too heavy to bear. My wounds are foul and festering, the result of my own folly. I am bowed and brought to my knees. I go mourning all day long. All my frame burns with fever. All my body is sick. Spent and early crushed, I cry out loud in anguish of heart. O oh Lord, you know all my longing. My groans are not hidden from you. My heart throbs. My strength is spent. The very light has gone from my eyes. The friends avoid me like a leper. Those closest to me stand afar. Those who plot against my life lay snares. Those who seek my ruin speak of harm, planning treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who cannot hear, like the dumb unable to speak. I am like a man who hears nothing, and whose mouth is no defense. I count on you, O Lord. It is you, Lord God, who will answer me. I pray, do not let them mock me, those who triumph if my foot should slip. For I am on the point of falling, and my pain is always before me. I confess that I am guilty, and my sin fills me with dismay. My wanton enemies are numberless, and my lying foes are many. They repay me evil for good, and attack me for seeking what is right. O oh Lord, do not forsake me. My God, do not stay far. Make haste and come to my help, O oh Lord, my God, my Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the Book of Lamentations I am a man who knows affliction from the rod of his anger, one whom he has led and forced to walk in darkness, not in the light. Against me alone he brings back his hand, again and again, all the day. He has worn away my flesh and my skin, he has broken my bones, he has beset me round about, poverty and weariness. He has left me to dwell in the dark, like those long dead. The Word of the Lord on this Thursday morning, brothers and sisters, on this Holy Thursday, let us pray and recite the Canticle of Zechariah, and let us pray. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Intercessions Jesus Christ is present in the full power of his redeeming love and the sacraments of the Church. In faith we pray. And the response is, Save your people, Lord. Save your people, Lord. You are present in the mystery of your cross and bodied in the Eucharist. Bring all peoples into communion with your redeeming love. Save your people, Lord. You offer the world new life in the waters of salvation. Be present to those who are preparing for baptism. Save your people, Lord. You strengthen the church in the power of the Holy Spirit. Inspire with fervor those who are preparing to call for confirmation. Save your people, Lord. You anoint in your likeness new servants of the gospel. Renew and love all those who are ordained to the diaconate, priesthood, and episcopacy. Save your people, Lord. You, you unite and love those whom you have called to mirror your love for the church and marriage. Fortify the bonds of love that bind all married couples. Save your people, Lord. 
You reconcile to God all those who have gone astray in sin. Cleanse and heal those who desire to return to you. Save your people, Lord. You strengthen all those who are called to adhere to your cross in sickness. Comfort the sick and those who care for them. Save your people, Lord. And you give yourself as food for the journey to all those who face a passage from death to life. Enlighten the dying. Save your people, Lord. And let us offer to God our own personal intentions culled from the silence of our hearts. Save your people, Lord. And let us pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus has taught us. And we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us pray. O Lord, gather your church in holiness around the table of the cross, that together we may proclaim your saving love to all the world in word and in work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us finish and end our morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good day, everybody.